All right, time to solve the mystery behind this double murder case. Now, before we begin, I'd like to mention something. So, I do have some new abilities here because yesterday, as of when this video is being made, I decided to go ahead and um, do some more of the uh, the free time events for those who have died beforehand. And I tried to record them, but they didn't. But my game capture couldn't didn't capture it, so I ended up doing all this without recording that. So we'll read through their um, descriptions, or not descriptions. Uh, we'll read through each of their profiles before we begin the next chapter. But no, just know that I have a lot of new abilities, and they really will help this chapter, hopefully. So uh, yeah, let's go. Solve the double murder case. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, we're you will forget if you vote ago, correctly, then only I'll punish everyone besides the Oh well, who cares about this boring explanation? Let's do it. Same thing every already. time. I don't mind starting the trial, but I don't not, really have so. a grasp of how the case played out. You know, because I was asleep the whole time. What? <laughs> Even if you do grasp it, you're just gonna confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? Yep. He's gonna be he's gonna be all like, if you're gonna kill someone, you should just let me know. I would gladly help you kill me. But Nagito's not alone. I don't really get it either. You're fine. Your head's empty anyway. <laughs> Shit, empty head? Huh. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Smooth brain or wrinkle brain. Listen up. The emptier your head, the more dreams you can stuff inside it, you know? <laughs> anyway, we shouldn't proceed with the trial if those two can't participate in the arguments. <laughs> Kane and Nagato? Don't worry about that. Since he's the first witness, why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident and the sequence of events? It's not like I know it. Buki was just found then, hanging. Let's start with when we split into the hospital team and motel team because of the despair disease. The hospital team consisted of Nagito, Ibuki, and Akane, who were infected. And Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. We're watching the over other everyone. Five in the motel team were myself, Gundam, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Hyoko. Spending the night at the hospital was prohibited, so Hajime and I had to sleep at our cottages. Yeah, to avoid I woke up at my cottage on the day the incident happened. Mikan came by to wake me up and told me that Nagito had recovered from the symptoms. Yeah, she came to wake you, wake you up in one hell of a way. We immediately headed over to the hospital. And after we confirmed his recovery, I made Mikan rest in the on-call room, since she hadn't slept all night, while I waited in the hospital lobby. And then, I saw the incoming signal light on the surveillance camera blinking before our scheduled time. And that's when the I video pressed the button to turn on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... A video of someone wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head, climbing a stepladder. Amazing! That was Ibuki. That's such a hard pounding story! And Legitimate then what Ibuki. did you do, Hajime? Oh my god. I, I tried to stop them, of course. I rushed out of the hospital and ran to where the video was being recorded. The music venue. But it was too late. By the time I arrived, the person wearing the hemp bag on their head was already hanging from the ceiling. I thought I should tell the others right away, so I headed to the motel. Why the motel? Because it was close to the music venue. And unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. At least, that's what I thought. But the only person who came with me was Chiaki. But I remember feeling a little relieved because not long after, we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. We were also looking for Ibuki since she disappeared from our sight. After I rested for a bit, I started counting everyone at the hospital. And then, I noticed Ibuki was gone. So... I sprinted out of the hospital. Coincidentally, I ran into Fuyuhiko, so I pled with him in various ways to see if he could help me out. Various ways? What Don't say it like that and confuse people. She's embarrassed. After I heard from those two that Ibuki disappeared, I had a feeling she was the person wearing the hemp bag. So I immediately led them to the music venue, but the door wouldn't open. Since we had no other option, the four of us broke down the door. And that's when we that saw Hyoko. We didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hyoko's. 
and not just that, her body was taped to a pillar. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Not once, but twice in a row. Yeah, he announced it once, turned it off, went back on, and announced it again. Well, he was right about it. So one announcement and for corpse. So we decided to lower the hanged body, didn't we? When we removed the hemp bag, just as we feared, it was Ibuki. So that's how the case played out. Thank you. I understood Someone had to, very easily. Considering uh, Buki's case was being gullible, I wonder if someone told her. Well, it's clear what the problem with something. this case is. When Hajime left the music venue, who would? How do I know anything Hajime just said is true? Nagato! Huh? Sorry. I'm only being impartial right now. The story I just heard is clearly suspicious. Nagato, shut the fuck up. You're not Hajime, helping. If you're the only one who saw the hanging video and the first one to discover Ibuki's body, then you could be lying as much as you want right now, right? What? Lie? Why would I lie? Obviously. So you could make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth for you. Do you doubt me? If you're not lying, I would like you to prove it. Come on, try to prove it to me. Prove you're not the killer. Huh? This is kind of what you said. Not just the kind of guy who just confuses us and make matters worse. Damn it, I should have explained it to I shouldn't have explained it to Nagato. I'm in trouble now thanks to that. Well, we were gonna end up in a situation anyway. And Teru Teru's ability is I guess it'll allow up to three weak spots. Or three bullets. Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. <laughs> Hajime's testimony is alive. And the fact that Ibuki hung herself. That would also be a lie. Hajime's a liar? I don't think I can deny that possibility. Oh my god. After all, Hajime is the only witness. It is a cursed eye. Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously, because he's the killer. <laughs> Did Hajime kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie means it probably oh, is Hajime's fault. I'm a witness. I'm not the killer. This is pretty comfortable. Oh, I think it might be the ticket because he stamps it every time you see it. Hajime's every time you see the movie, so it might actually be the movie ticket. That would also. I don't think I can. Because I'm not the only one that saw it. Well, obviously, did Hajime? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie means it probably is Hajime's fault. Oh, wish I like that. Hajime's test I feel like it's the movie, so I should try I don't think that. I can, after all, why would Hajime... Well, obviously, did Hajime... The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie means it probably is Hajime's I fault. I'm really running out of time. Hajime's test Hajime's... From the fact that he... That would also... I don't think I can... After all, why would Hajime... Well, obviously, because... Did Hajime kill... The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie... There we go. No, that's wrong. Because I wasn't the only one that saw it. If the tickets are stamped. Oh wait, Nagato saw it too! I'm the killer! I mean there's no way I'd be able to imitate it. Nagato that movie. saw it too! I just remember. Of course you're not. I already knew that. I was going out the fact that you can only see the movie once, and if you've seen it, your card's already stamped. And I just and it just made me remember Nagato was the first one to see it. Huh? Before the incident, Hajime had never watched that movie. His invitation ticket is proof of that. And your invitation ticket is proof that you have seen it. Each person only received one ticket. And they're marked with a stamp that shows the date and time. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Yes. No mistakes there. I'm the best. Which means there's no way Hajime, who never <laughs> saw the movie, could commit murders that imitate I'm it. I'm the best. Or did anyone tell him what happens in the movie? Of course no one did, right? Oh. Hold on a sec. You're the one who brought this up in the first place. And you were the first one to see it. Nagito, what are you doing? Well, since we're opening with your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. He really is just confusing people. Warm up. What warm up? This isn't a game, you know. <laughs> Don't get mad. I just think warming up is really important. Especially since this isn't a game. Well, me got freaked out. <laughs> Turn out like this anyway. Yeah, the moment be Nanako began talking on the now island, there's always a time. Since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, 
Let us move on to the arguments. Hmm. So this means Ibuki definitely climbed the stepladder all by herself, right? Yeah, I'm positive. Then that seals it! Ibuki committed suicide! If Ibuki committed suicide, then who killed Hiyoko? Hmm. A murder coincidentally occurring in the same place as a suicide... Ain't possible, huh? No, because if Ibuki was the first to die and she committed suicide, there would be no reason for someone else to swoop in and kill someone else. Unless the, unless the murders happened in a different way, it wouldn't make any sense. Like I said before, it's pretty clear what the problem with this case is. The killer murdered Hiyoko while Hajime was gone. So all we gotta do is establish who could have possibly done that. Then let's ask Hajime. How long would you say you were away from the music venue? I couldn't have been gone for more than 10 minutes. So they killed Hiyoko and taped her up within 10 minutes? There's no way that's possible. That's why the killer stalled for time by making the music venue a closed room. Hmm? What do you mean a closed room? A drumstick blocked the killer The killer blocked the venue door from the inside to try and keep us from entering right away. However, that door is the only entrance to the music venue, right? If they blocked the door from the inside, the killer would not have been able to leave either. Which is actually what confused me the most. Right. Which what confused means, me the most. When we broke down the venue door, the killer was still inside. <laughs> they were? If that's the case, the only suspicious people are those who don't have an alibi for that time. And that's you two! Sonia and Kazuichi! What? <laughs> me too? What the hell? Why's it gotta be us? The others all have alibis. Chiaki, Mikan, Hajime, and I all broke down the venue door together. Gundam met up with Hajime at the motel right before that. And if Akane and Nagito were laid up in the hospital, the only person that leaves is one of you. There's another person who doesn't have an alibi. You know, Nekomaru. But we don't know what happened with him. Too? What? Hey, why are you talking like, huh? Was he trying to talk like Nekomaru? You're kidding, right? You're not up to something weird, are you? Please stop just, making bad jokes. Just copy Nekomaru's anyway, attitude. If the killer was hiding inside the venue, Me we too. should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. What a wicked way of backing us into a wall. Is this his professional skill? The killer was inside the music venue. But Higo obviously thinks so, but is that really it? So what do we got now? The step ladder, the semi-transparent glob. The killer was still inside the music venue. Sounds like it's something. By locking the door from the inside. I wonder. Seriously, stop. They tried to keep us from getting in. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? On step ladder, the semi That door should glob. not have had a lock. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside waited until we gathered together and suddenly appeared. So they look like they had just rushed over. I have seen this in serial crime dramas. You sure know a lot. <laughs> The person from Mark comes to truth. I should be able to prove that on my evidence. Okay, the killer so was still the inside the music venue. I locked the my door from the inside. Oh, no, the glob. Not. It was the glob. The one that Chiaki really kept There's tasting. There's also a possibility that the door was locked from the outside. From the outside. The one that How? the very glob that Chiaki kept tasting for no good reason. Semi-transparent glob. But just spat out. Maybe that's what they use. Semi-transparent glob, like rubber, maybe. That's so funny though. It wasn't rubber at all. The semi-transparent glob was probably not rubber. <laughs> Could it be rubber? Blue? Something gummy? But the gum I don't have time to joke around with that. Oh, yeah, the gummy. You made me remember that. Uh, not a gummy. Could it just be glue then? I see. Ah, I was about to choose that too. That semi transparent glob must have been glue. Glue to keep glue? doors shut. Yeah. Like a wood glue? I think so too. 
It had a firm, gel-like chewiness. And I could smell workshop chemicals the moment I put it in my mouth. Based on I'm certain it was glue. And she had her cheeks puckered up like when she was tasting it earlier. I didn't know glue was edible. <laughs> it's not! I believe it is not something one typically eats. That glue was yeah, only got the areas where both doors touched. <laughs> By pouring it in the gaps of the closed door, it must have sealed the venue door from the outside. And thanks to that, a glob of glue was left where the door was stuck. Yep, it fits perfectly. But if you just stick them together with glue, you'd be able to break down the door easily, you know? That doesn't really matter. The killer only did that to make us think the door was locked from the inside. What'd you say? First of all, didn't that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Almost unnaturally so? What, that'd be too thin or weak to even hold the door it shut? It was so obvious that it makes more sense to think the killer placed it as a diversion. Is that why we didn't collect those evidence? Are you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on purpose? Then I... I totally fell for that fucking trap. Apologize to Miss Sonia and me. However, you're not allowed to slice open your stomach this time. In a quarrel, both sides are to blame. That's why it's better to just have no sides at all. Oh my god, Monami, nobody asked so, you. During the 10 minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space. And they also taped her up after killing her, right? Even quick work has limits. Oh, what unimaginable speed for a slow poke like me. What? If they couldn't have done it while Hajime was away from the venue, they must have done it earlier than that. Earlier? But when Hajime got to the venue, only Ibuki's body was there, right? And when you went back with everyone else, Hyoko's body was there too, right? But it's possible that the body was just revealed at that time, when Hyoko was actually killed earlier. Did you have to be saying something smart? Did of course, smart? the body wasn't revealed on its own. The killer did that too. Here, I have proof. A piece of scrap. That scrap of paper, is that what we found in the baton lighting at the music venue? That's right, but just what is this scrap anyway? That that was stuck in the baton lighting in the music venue. Now I should be able to figure out what it is. Uh, what am I looking for this time? I actually have no idea what word I'm looking for. Oh, wallpaper. Wallpaper. Wallpaper in the storage room? In the music venue storage room, there should have been black wallpaper that's the same color as that scrap. 
There was also a tear along the edge of the wallpaper, wasn't there? If so, you're right. If you overlay the scrap that was caught on the lighting with the tear in the wallpaper, see? It fits perfectly. I see. So the scrap that was caught on the baton lighting was originally part of the wallpaper. And what's wrong with that? Does it have something to do with Yoko's body disappearing? Her body disappeared. She was probably Here, behind the table. Like me isn't important enough to answer that. But if you guys were exceptional enough to identify oh my God. Of paper, you can figure this out easily. Got the paper stuck in the baton lady and part of the wallpaper I found in the storage room. Is it connected to the sudden appearance of Yoko's body? If I trace it back from there, the answer should become clear. Alright, let's give this a try. Logic dive. Two. One. Go! I totally forgot how to jump. Okay. It's wide for me. I'm about to answer our first question. Logic time. Question one. When did his body suddenly appear at the crime scene? It was hidden. If we agree with the whole wallpaper idea, that means her body had been there the whole time. I probably shouldn't speed up too much. I'm gonna slow down. What's next? What did the killer use to hide her body? The wallpaper. The black wallpaper. Almost there. No idea how I fell. Okay, he does it by himself. I guess I tried jumping earlier. Alright then, final question. How did the killer hide the body with the wallpaper? They covered the pillar. Meaning that her body had been to the wall at the wall the whole time. It was just covered. Completely covered. He it. It's hidden. The wallpaper. It's all coming paper. together. Let's rock and roll. Got it. Kyoko's body was hidden before we found it. But it would have taken quite a long time to tape up a hidden body. No, the body was already taped up, and the killer hid it, along with the pillar using the wallpaper. What? They hid the pillar? Someone more evil than me? Yeah. By wrapping the wallpaper around the pillar, the killer was able to create a slightly larger pillar. Not that we have so noticed. when I first discovered Ibuki's body, Kyoko's body was already there. However, because it was concealed within a slightly larger pillar, I didn't realize that at the time. Well, that's understandable. I mean, it makes sense that you'd notice Ibuki's body right away. So they used the baton lighting on the ceiling to hang the wallpaper? The baton lighting forms a perfect circle around the pillar. So using it to hang the wallpaper totally fits. Then, the reason the wallpaper was covered in so many stickers is to make it look like that pillar. That's how they hid Yoko's body, and then peeled off the wallpaper as soon as I left the music room. But the killer made a mistake. They accidentally ripped off a piece of the wallpaper. And because of that, a scrap was left on the baton lighting. The killer must have been in a hurry. Their plan took too long. Hajime could have walked in on it. But going to the trouble of hiding his body as the pillar is very cool. And it's... But the crime itself would be much easier to pull off since they don't have much to do while Hajime's gone. They just have to peel off that wallpaper and stash it in the storage room. It's not that big of a deal. Then, when was Hyoko actually killed? 
Good point. And on that note, it's about time we shed some light on those imitation murders. Imitation um, murder. You mentioned imitation murder more than once. But what is that? Is this gonna be another Are act? You kidding me? Oh you God. haven't seen my masterpiece? The Wizard of Monomy 2.5D? Hey! Don't put my likeness in your movies without my permission. This is another act. You're pretty noisy for someone who eats mothballs. What? I don't eat mothballs. I just enjoy looking at them. I knew it. There are so many similarities. It must have been intentional. Ibuki's death by hanging matches the Scarecrow's death from the movie. Not just that, but Hyoko getting taped up after her death matches the lion's death. It's to as a if point. both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie, although the mutilated Tin Man was omitted. I'm pretty sure if the per if the killer was permitted a third person, they probably would have torn them apart. But why did the killer go to all this trouble in the first place? Based on what we know, the reason the killer chose these imitations isn't that difficult to figure out. The reason the killer imitated two victims in the movie, I should have explained that. Except the killing order. I see. Ah. That means he Yoko might have been the The reason the killer imitated two of the murders from the movie was so it mix up the killing order. Then. Kyoko was actually killed before Ibuki? A valid line of reasoning. Yeah, it's valid. The condition of Ibuki's body suggests that as well. What do you mean? <laughs> if you're going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. I'm just I'm waiting for the rebuttal crying. showdowns. I'll let you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me Is before this I change my mind. going to be a rebuttal showdown? What a jerk! Oh, I see. You want me to explain it to you, right? Because you don't understand what I'm saying, right? An even bigger jerk? Impossible! How could there be someone more evil than me? Look, Ibuki died because she hanged herself, right? That means when she was still alive, her feet were touching the floor. What's wrong with that? That. It seems Ibuki was still standing when Hyoko was killed. That would mean Hyoko was killed before Ibuki. <laughs> How light. Your words are so light, as light as the silk's feather. <laughs> your opponent is out of your league. It is too absurd to try to perplex me so inadequately. Man, he's being annoying again. First and foremost, you claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Hiyoko was killed. How can a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like you know something like that? Is it like gonna be that? based on her slippers? Because she was doing something that's only possible if her feet were on the floor. It seems you suffer from a pathetic delusion. <laughs> You're one to talk. Anyway, if this continues, we're just gonna talk in circles. <laughs> I think it's best if we clarify Ibuki's status when Hyoko was killed. Okay, what have we got? Blonde the souls? Yeah, it has to be the blonde the souls, I'm pretty sure of it. When Hyoko died, Ibuki's feet were on the floor. Now this is a ghost? I am telling you to present your evidence. You lie, right? Okay. Did you see her walking? If her feet were on the floor, was there any sign she stepped on something? There we go. That's it. Were there even any footprints at the crime scene? If I could read. Maybe her feet were on the floor. Yes, they were. But she was like sitting or something. No, she wasn't. So instead, so there'd be so a mark on her ass. That's not possible. I believe it's not possible. Weak, weak I say. Weak. It doesn't even pierce my heart. Weak, absolutely weak. Shaka said Ibuki was still standing when Hyoko was killed, but is that really true? When Hyoko died, Ibuki's feet were- I am telling you to present- Did you see her walk? If her feet- Was there any sign she stepped on something? Oh my god, can I- Were there even any- Oh my god, I kept landing on it. She was like sitting, so instead there'd be- Weak, 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 it doesn't- Absolutely weak! <laughs> Uh, I gotta clear up in front of Sonya's message. I am telling you to per Did you see her walking? If her feet were- Was there any sign she stepped on something? Yes. I agree with that. She's got blood on the soles of her slippers. 
Weak! Just as Sonya said, Ibuki stepped on something. That something was blood. There were faint blood stains on the soles of her slippers. That is not Ibuki's blood, right? She suffered no external injuries. That and might be Yoko's blood. Yoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck. And she died almost instantly, right? If Ibuki stepped on her blood... That means Ibuki was still standing when Hyoko was mortally wounded. Which means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Hyoko was killed. Don't underestimate yep. the power of the evil eye! Of course it was gonna be Gundam, too. He was already fighting with Chiaki. <laughs> Is that it? A shepherd dressed in his Sunday's finest still reeks of wrath, Hajime Hinata. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Hmm. That's a good line. Oh my god, hurry up! <laughs> but, are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know! Get on with it. You're so frightened, you can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. However, the time for conviction starts now! You better entertain me to the fullest! Oh my god. Got to pick paper, it stands longer, smudge on the floor. You're saying oh. the blood on Ibuki's feet belongs to huh. Impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood. You can't step on blood that was never there. <laughs> Just about to see a nice nightmare. Why is it sad here, folks? I feel like I've already seen an account and opened an account. You're saying the blood on Ibuki's feet belonged to huh, Impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood on the floor. Try to tell you. Cut through those words. Right at the beginning. <gasps> That's not it. The reason there was no blood on the floor is because the killer wiped it away afterward. <laughs> don't there was say a smudge. such foolish things. You don't have proof of that at all. In fact, yes, I do. I do. You make it so preposterous clean. There's a streak on the floor where blood was wiped away. When the killer tried to hide Yoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same they time. They soaked into the wood. Ibuki must have already stepped in it, and the killer probably didn't even realize it. But it the reason they the wiped wood. off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? Even if they're able to hide Kyoko's body, it'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. <coughs> Plus, Ibuki's body was left out in the open, and it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. Yoko's body was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating, so I don't think they had to go that far. Again, probably Aside something you know. None of us were aware of that fact, so the killer probably did not know it either. Maybe... That heater was running inside the music venue, so it would screw with Nikon's autopsy? That was true. That's right! I didn't know the time of death because of the heater! The time of death wasn't mentioned in the Monokuma file, just to keep concrete evidence for us. Yep. If we have all this evidence, <coughs> there's no one else who wants to object, right? Then it's decided. Yoko was killed before Ibuki. It appears that it is wiser to retreat for now. I'll stop playing. Fine, then. But regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit in upholding one's convictions. Can't you just shut up and back off? Now then, let us resume our debate. Without further Wait a trouble. second. There's something I want to run by Monokuma first. Okay. Huh? Again? Didn't something like this happen last time too? And probably the time before that too. Hey, if the victim actually committed suicide, what are we supposed to do? Suicide? I mean, isn't it obvious? We would still have to figure that out whether they committed suicide or not, just like we have to do with Ogami in the first game. The same as always! You have to vote for who the killer is! Think about it! A suicide means you've killed the most important existence of all! Yourself. Yourself! Unfortunately, that means there's no blacken to punish, but I guess in a pinch, I can always punish Monami. Oh my god. Me. Um, Nagito? What do you mean? If the victim actually committed suicide. Well, I mean, I understand Yoko's death, but I'm wondering if Ibuki was really murdered. For example, it's possible Ibuki killed Yoko, 
and then committed suicide due to a guilty conscience, right? Probably not. It's totally impossible. Then she never would have killed her to begin with. She was afflicted by the despair disease, remember? That means anything can happen. But if Ibuki's the killer, she wouldn't have been able to falsify the sequence of the murders, right? I don't think she's even smart enough to do After that. After Hajime saw the hanged body, the sudden appearance of Hyoko's body soon after means the killer had to be alive at that time. Then she was alive. <gasps> when Hajime first discovered Ibuki, she was just pretending to be dead. What? If she waited until Hajime left, that's when she could have made her move and mess with the crime scene. She, she hanged herself. Remember? There's no fucking way she could have faked that. And if she was going to fake her death, I think she wouldn't have chosen hanging. Her body would have been defenseless in that state. If anyone touched her, that alone would have ruined her plan. Hmm, I see. So that means there's no doubt that someone killed those two. I'm glad. Now I'm free to search for the killer. Oh my god. What the heck? Ah, you guys are right, he does want to confuse people. That's all he wants to if do. If Ibuki didn't commit suicide, then just what was that video Hajime saw? According to that video you saw, Ibuki was by herself when she climbed the stepladder, right? Then does that mean someone forced her to do it? Yeah, because she would listen to anyone in her despair state. Forced? Perhaps they used hypnotism or something? No. I don't know anything about that. Don't say it all proud. Uh, it's a despair uh, disease. Putting that aside, it seems obvious that the killer did something. Maybe we should figure out who was able to do whatever that was. So, an alibi. Then our plan is to destroy the weakest alibi. Since Hajime has seen the video, it is clear what time the crime took place. Uh, just to be sure, that surveillance camera doesn't have a record function, right? It's a cheap-ass surveillance camera, you know? There's no way it'd have some kind of sweet recording feature. What time did Hajime see that video? I saw it at the hospital, right before Monokuma's morning announcement. And I saw the body at the music venue a little after Monokuma's announcement. Hmm. So Ibuki hanged herself right before Monokuma's announcement. And since we established that Hyoko was killed before Ibuki... That means the time that the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. Then, we just have to find the person who doesn't have an alibi during that time? Now then, I shall issue my decree. Let Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi commence. Nice. <laughs> That's a count for he does a count or some does we can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? It's good too, huh? I don't like and that what guy. about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. That's it, me too. Uh, I think everyone at the motel is doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed. The murder supposedly happened before and during the morning announcement. This one does have an alibi for a time. We can ex and take a look at them again. Before and during the morning announcement. I can see people at me from the hospital. This split too. Right up until the Monokuma announcement that morning, Mika went to talk to me the whole time. Afterwards, she went to ask for the check on everyone and realized that Buki had disappeared. 
And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi, then... I need to figure something out. Did I make a mistake? I'm not mistaken when I said nobody has an alibi. Is there a button to make this make sure it makes sense? Let's call it. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? I really want to see a person. And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my. Wait, let's see if they say anything about Nagato and Akane. I don't think they do. Oh, I think everyone else is good. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed. What about you guys? I was where I was. But that's not. Aside from those, if nobody was an up. Oh, Mika. No, that's wrong. I knew that. I knew that would have been it. It just reminds me of the case with Leon not in the all first of us are missing game. An alibi. It reminds me of Leon in the first game, where he's just like, man, if only we, if only we had more evidence. That was kind of the, I, I think that was kind of the idea that um, Sonya was giving off when she said, if only, if only someone had an alibi. Just like Leon when he said, if only we had more evidence. In fact, Nikon and I both have alibis. You, you two have alibis? Up until I saw that hanging video, Nikon and I were actually together for a while. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Hey, what kind of situation is that? No. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Too much info. <laughs> Please. Yeah, it's not like that. She just came to tell me Nagato's condition had improved. <laughs> what about the first time? <laughs> and we went to the hospital together afterward. So we were together until right before the announcement. I get it. You guys have alibis. <laughs> if that's going the case, brain. the killer must be someone else. It's better if we think about it like that. The killer decided to falsify the murder sequence to hide the actual time of the crime anyway. So it's inevitable that an alibi for both before and during the morning announcement would be very important. Hmm. It feels like Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has backed us into a corner instead. Oh my. But committing an imitation murder, is that really all it was? Huh? Faking the time the crime occurred by falsifying the murder sequence, hiding their alibi in the process... Was that the only reason the killer made both bodies imitate the movie? Are you saying there was another reason? I feel really bad for confusing you guys so much, but that's how I feel. I think the killer had a completely different reason for falsifying the murder sequence. The killer had a different reason? Uh, if that's the case, are we still in the killer's trap? It's not a trap, except by one of us. If so, then who's? And what kind of trap is it? Box trial suspended. All right. Hiya! Why, hello there, Monami. The moss bars do look tasty today. Stop it! Stop it! Don't characterize me as someone who lives off moss balls. And here's some chin style! Oh, what's that? Now then, Monami's appeal time starts now! Appeal time? Your kind-hearted big brother is going to give you a chance to reclaim your honor. Good luck! Show those chicks who treat you like a red-headed stepchild who's boss! That's 99% your fault. While you are whining, your time's already running out, so please make your appeal simple. About 30,000 words or so. That's too long, it'll just be a boring appeal. 
Now mind, if you're being successful, there might be merchandise opportunities heading your way. Oh man, I don't think it's worth it. I'm Usami, magical girl Usami. I'm an itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk. Jeez, and I thought certain robot's little sister was supposed to be the best. What a disappointment. Um... What are you talking about? I have no clue whatsoever. Oh, jeez. Alright. Let's continue. I'm Monami. Once again, I've been put in such an unreasonable situation. Seriously, he's like the king of unreasonableness. Why did it turn out like this? We were supposed to have a fun, friendly school trip, but it turned out all bloody instead. No! This definitely cannot be allowed. That's why I want you to remember this. Everyone, do your very best. Don't lose to your side. Don't forget to save and frequently. don't forget to save frequently. Bye. The reason the killer didn't imitation murder is a reason other than falsifying the murder sequence. Does something like that even exist? Huh. It suddenly got quiet in here. Well, you started talking, so... Did I confuse you? <laughs> if so, I wish I could die from self-loathing. Oh, God, shut up. Man, this again. If that's the case, it would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me, too. Shut up. If that happened... The imitation would have been perfect. So why didn't they do that? Well, it's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. That rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Seriously, just shut up already. Shut up forever. But I'm thinking about it again, man. <laughs> this time to shut up totally forever. totally right. It feels incomplete. Because they didn't kill three people like the movie did? That's only because of Monokuma's rule. It's not just that. Come on, try to remember the content of the movie. About the lion that got killed second. That's the one Hyoko's body was imitating, right? Hmm. Even though we're calling it an imitation, the lion was actually pinned by arrows, right? Yes. But Hyoko's body was suspended by common <gasps> household duct tape. Maybe they just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Well, that's probably it, but that attitude is what makes this feel incomplete. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have taken steps to properly imitate it. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? I'm saying... Yoko's murder wasn't. What? It wasn't planned or it wasn't an imitation? Oh, Yoko's murder wasn't planned? Um, I understand that imitation wasn't enough, but aren't you making a bunch of assumptions? It's not just the poor imitation. There are also other strange details. Strange details? Like what? Like, for example, why did Yoko go to the music venue? Why did Yoko go to the music venue? So, you're saying the truth behind Yoko's murder is hidden? I have no freaking clue what you're trying to say! However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark devas of destruction are getting riled up. Well, the one hanging from your scarf is still sleeping. When he, why are you going to the music venue? If that's the key to all this, I need to find out that out, no matter the cost. Why is he going to the music venue? Oh yeah, that's Nekomaru's people to this one. Why did Shoko? Maybe? Go to the music venue? There's no way you'd know that! Maybe the oh, killer summoned I remember, I remember now. If that's not it... Maybe she got abducted by the killer! <laughs> no, maybe... No. She went to her own free will! I guess you could say that? Or... She was guided by the will of causality! 
I think I brought out why he also went to music venue first. Why did Shoko go to the music venue? There's no way we'd know that! Maybe the killer summoned her. If that's not it, maybe she got abducted by the killer. Yeah, I just did what? No, maybe. She went of her own free will. Oh, I agree with that. Because she needed, because she needed the mirror to tie her robe. It's just as Sonia said. She went to the music venue of her own free will. And it's possible that Ibuki was about to be killed, but since Hyoko was there, she would have witnessed it. So to keep her from talking, the murderer must have killed Hyoko first. And then, even even then, still continue the plan of killing Ibuki, because I guess if one was killed, there would have still been witness either way. So I guess we can go with that. Exactly as I assumed. If no one called for her, then why did she go? Yoko locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease, you know? I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's no way she got abducted? Oh. Yoko locked the room she was staying in before she went out. If she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact Hiyoko got abducted. Probably not. Hiyoko had her key on her. Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. Damn. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that. I won't move. Yep, there we go. After I saw that cut, I knew something was gonna happen. Are you saying my gut was wrong? This will be my first and last highlight of the day. Why won't you just let me shine already? Because it's your shine that's gonna get us killed. Th that's not the issue. Shut up! Enough with your fancy talk. I'll shut you up right now. We're jumping right into it. She's fierce. The accounts account for Hiko. The accounts again? Hiyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room. Forcibly abducted her! The girl is so small and weak looking. And that's why the killer targeted her. I can't back down! Give it to me! But Hiyoko's room was locked. I was trying to find the thing. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? It's more likely that Hiyoko locked the door herself. The killer was the one who locked the door! So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later! Oh, it's more! There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hiyoko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Hold on! Try remembering Hiyoko's body! Her kimono was all messed up! There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer! That's the proof she was abducted, right? My gut is totally right after all! It is not, and it gets in Sonya's account. This is the faucet of a kind argument. She's finally revealed her ace in the hole. Who are you what she just said? Hold on! Try remembering Hiyoko's body! Her kimono! There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer! Nope. Allow me to cut through those words! She went to the venue because she needs to fix her kimono. The reason Hyoko's kimono was messed up was because she wasn't able to properly wear it. Wear her kimono? Yeah, it's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Hyoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. But she couldn't tie her kimono. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music venue, and I suggested that she use it. Then, the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the kimono. She's not you, Akane. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. I, I get it. I lost. Boil me, burn me, take off my clothes! Back. Do whatever you want to me! Hajime, now's your chance. Make her admit defeat. Or better yet, make her do a little something-something. No! Hell no! Then, 
The killer probably couldn't have assumed that Hiyoko would go to the music venue. Though that may something, something. not apply to Sonia, since she provided Hiyoko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. I mean, to the circle that got feeling that the killer was still inside. Stop doubting this Sonia, you cretin. I'll put you and your hamster six feet under. Yeah. <laughs> Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Gundam, please stop. For his sake. Huh? What do you mean, for my sake? Of course, I've already <laughs> overlooked no less than 10 opportunities to kill you. Well, even if the killer couldn't predict it, why did Hyoko get killed in the music venue? The only thing I can think of is it was an unfortunate coincidence. Just what I just what I mentioned, like Hyoko was in the room and I guess she got there. She might have gotten it before the killer arrived. And since and when the killer noticed her, they must have killed her to keep her shut from what she would have seen. And like I said, if she had killed either Hyoko or Ibuki, they would have been witnessed one way or another if they both weren't killed. Coincidence? When she went to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. Yep. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? Yep. It probably happened when accident. the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki. The killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head, and without hesitation, sliced the booty, or sliced Hyoko. Killed Hyoko. Because the killer used that coincidence for their crime, it made this case even trickier. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. Do you have any ideas? Damn, we don't know the most important part. The killer's plan from the beginning. I'm pretty sure we're very, very close. Hey, Nagito, <laughs> any ideas? You can start talking now. Hey, how long are you going to stay quiet? Oh, wait, he told... Wait, he told Nagato to stay quiet forever? I thought he told Monokuma to stay quiet forever. Oh, am I allowed to speak? <laughs> I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps. That's when he told if Monokuma, not Nagato to shut like up forever. Me. So what do you think? I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. But now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. I guess if we're going by that. What are you talking about? I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. But now I remember, there was blood on Ibuki's slippers. There was blood so on the step ladder as well. And walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene. There'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no way Ibuki oh no, committed suicide. Crazy. You know. We already finished talking about that a while ago? Yes. Uh, really? <laughs> when you close your mouth, did you close your ears too? That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be. <laughs> no, wait a minute. The bookie had blood on her feet. There'd be footprints all over the place she kept walking around. That's strange. That's very strange. What's strange? I see. It's not something we finished talking about. Those footprints. There's still an important clue left that we completely overlooked. Just as Nato said, if she had blood on her feet, she would have left footprints. Then why? Why aren't there any footprints on the... The stepladder? There weren't any footprints on the, on the stepladder, but they were on the side of it. The stepladder was found at the music venue stage, tipped on its side. On its left side, of tight but a blood stain can be I can prove it with this. It's on the side, but it's not on the actual ladder itself. She used the step ladder to hang herself. It's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. Huh? There weren't? Yeah. That step ladder was completely clean. No footprints or blood stains at all. Did you notice such a small detail? How amazing! This is truly the talent of a chosen ultimate! What are you talking about? You were obviously leading us to this. 
That's why you brought up the suicide topic after all this time. Nagato Komayeda, you're definitely someone I shouldn't underestimate. For good or for bad. But didn't you say you saw that video of Kibuki climbing the stick ladder? Then I think there's no doubt that she really did climb it. Uh, Much way though. Funny about that video. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video. But that's something only Hajime would know, since he's the only one who saw that video. So, just I thought, it comes down to that. The mystery surrounding the incident is contained in that video. And whether or not we can reach the hidden truth, it's all up to me. Hajime, I leave it in your hands. As long as I leave this to you, I won't tell you to do your best, but oh well. You should get started already. Yeah, I'll definitely try. There was some hidden clue in that video. I should have seen something strange as I watched it. I'm the only one who can clear that up. The only one who actually saw that video. But I'm the only one who could do it. The hanging video, what I saw, based on everything we know from the debates thus far, I should be able to figure out what's strange. That there's no blow on the actual ladder? Here. Yes. No blood on the side of the ladder. That's right. I remember now. There was definitely something strange about that video. Can you explain it to us? What's strange is that step ladder I mentioned earlier. It's true that the steps of that step ladder weren't dirty, but on one side there was a blood stain right on the left side of the step ladder. However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. We there saw weren't the left any side. blood stains on the step ladder in the video. It was completely clean. That is truly strange. If the video showed the moment of Ibuki's death, then Hyoko should have already been dead by that point. Even so, the fact is the stepladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. But the stepladder in the video was completely bloodless. There's no way the video was recorded in advance. If that's the case, the only thing I can think of is... It's possible those two stepladders were completely different. So, so there were two different stepladders? Are you saying there were two stepladders? But where would you find another stepladder? There was oh, only wait. one stepladder in the music I don't. Video. I don't remember the... Um... Sword spot's not much, but... I think I remember seeing more than one step ladder. I guess we could try that. One of the step ladders was somewhere other than the music venue. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> what do you mean? You're suggesting that the step ladder in the video isn't the only thing that's different. Am I right? That's amazing, Chiaki. All that gaming has given you incredible deduction skills. Is it okay to say that? Ah, my voice cracked. What are you two talking about? The stepladder isn't the only thing that's different, huh? Jackie said that the stepladder was at a different place, but that's the case. The thing that's different between the video and the actual scene of the crime is that thing, the place where the killer did something. We're back here. Give you a break here. It's a C. It's come so late. 
I said no sword, I got more health. Dude, this would have been useful. I know that's a place to be useful would be this though. Filming location. Which was the music venue, wasn't that? That's right. Besides the step ladder, the filming location must have been different too. Wait! That, so that curtain that was there. So could it be that it happened behind stage? What do you mean? I mean the video I saw was not filmed at the music venue. Oh, it was it filmed wasn't. somewhere else. But the hospital monitor is supposed to display footage captured by the music venue camera, you know? Then there's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera unit. Notice it shows that they filmed the video at the music venue set somewhere else. What did the killer do with the surveillance camera unit? They destroyed it. Let's jump right in. Three, two, one, start! The logic dive has just begun. Which part of the Sphinx came in it the killer tamper with? Oh, both, 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 I guess. Oh, wait, really? Oh, I guess, oh, I guess it was just the camera. I thought it would've been both because the monitor was destroyed when we got to the crime scene. So move the camera and destroy the monitor. <laughs> Damn it. There's an ability that I have that would allow me to turn faster. Probably equip that next time, because I might have more points. I could probably equip that next time. Oh jeez, I'm getting dazed. I am getting dazed! For days. Oh jeez. Oh wow 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 Did the killer tamper with the camera at the music venue or the hospital? The one in the music venue. Unless I'm wrong about this again. But I'm pretty sure the ho yeah, the camera in the hospital wasn't messing with me. Oh wow 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 Oh, ah! Come on. Death perception sucks in this game. <laughs> what did the killer do with the camera from the music venue surveillance camera unit? Them. Yep. But when they have, but at the same time, when they have to have like increase the signal or something, if they took it with them, they must have done something with it. Together. Like increase its range. Because as far as Kazuichi said, it, they should only be able to That's communicate it. between the, the music venue the camera from the music and the um music venue and the hospital. Does that mean they went to the other side of the hospital or something? Wait. They made me think it was a live feed from the venue, when it was actually from somewhere else. Then, only the monitor was left in the music venue? And it was smashed! Yes, at least when I first discovered Ibuki's body. But when Yoko's body appeared, the killer probably put the camera back too. That means you should have realized that from the start, and made this easier on all of us. Oh, shut the hell up, Akane. He did discover the body. I doubt his attention was focused on the camera. That's true, but... In order to hide that the camera was missing, the killer did one more thing to the remaining monitor. Smashed it. The thing the killer did to the remaining monitor was... I see! Pieces of it were scattered. The killer smashed the <laughs> monitor to pieces, destroying it. 
Yep. As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. My attention was so focused on the body that even I couldn't have noticed something like that. And the moment Hajime left the music <laughs> venue, the killer put back the camera they took. And they destroyed it and left that in pieces as well. Oh. It's easy to say it was filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair efforts, it seems it could not transmit from the hospital to the motel. The fact that it was able to connect between the hospital and the music venue is amazing enough. We can make the film another place as long as we can bring to the hospital. The range is pretty limited. Like I said, it must have happened behind stage. That's the case. Where's the video film to make it look like it's from the music venue? The only possibility is that place inside that building. Oh. Oh, the black curtain. The black curtain in the conference room. Alright, these things take all goddamn days. I need an O. Thank you. I need an E now. I need an R, and I'm pretty sure none of them are going to appear now. <laughs> I need another E. Did you guys just see that? The corner two lighters were right on top of each other. Cheapest shit I've ever seen. There's no way I could have done anything to protect against that. That was absolute bullshit, though. I got it. There was two. I was. I am. I could have done that perfectly. Possible that it was filmed at the hospital's conference room. I could have done that perfectly, and then, and the court, and then on the right corner, you just see coming in two different letters right on top of each other, and they blew up as soon as they hit the screen. Huh? Conference room? Yes. But the hospital and the music venue look completely different. It's that black it's curtain, though. Like the killer did something to make those two places resemble each other. Yes. Yeah. To make the conference room look like the music venue, the killer went ahead and did some work. Got to make clear what that work was. It was the black curtain. Even Chiaki decided to make fun of everyone. All right, make fun There's of no me. Way or the tease me. Room. And the music venue looks the same. Which place resembled the other? Think about it. Did the conference room look like the music venue? Uh, or did the music venue look like the conference room? Or did they make some kind of set? I think it'd be this might have tampered with the camera. We might do that. I it's not still me. can't believe he mixed up the filming locations. Hajime, you're pretty stupid. Why is that a weak spot? <laughs> 
Let me have a problem with the music venue, but the killer do. Figure that out first. They mess with the crime scene, like Sonya said. Which place was in? Did the conference room look like the music venue? So very loud. Or did the music venue look like the conference room? Or did they make some kind of set? Really? Yeah. I knew that was it. The clue was a fast and backwards and it was in Really? There's no way of the conference room. And the music menu looks the same. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? I guess that. I mean, the conference room was set up first, and then the venue was set up after. What the killer did was make the music venue, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. Mm-hmm. From what I remember, I feel like it still could have been Sonya's be thing, really though. Flashy curtain. Cause it's but like the maybe music. they made a set. That's exactly what they did. It somehow became a plain black curtain that didn't seem to be the right size. That's right. It's so happy. Oh. Just like <laughs> oh yeah. Well, your face looks stupid. Best insult ever. That curtain was hung so the music venue would look like face the looks stupid. Room? In actuality, even though the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, it is a black light blocking curtain that's long enough to reach the floor. I see. The conference room. Indeed, the floor of that room is. So is it possible that I someone in the someone that was in the hospital? Recon? The same color as the music so... venue stage. So the killer chose the conference room because they realized the floor matched. Matching floors, matching curtains. I guess it makes sense you'd mistake the two. But that's not all. There should be something else the killer did to tamper with the evidence. Probably. Oh my god. Something else the killer did to make the music venue look like a concrete. It's gotta be that. The wick? The candle? The candle? Found the music venue. Looks like the dim lights is actually light from this candle. I can prove it with yes. this. You're referring to the candle and the music video, right? In the video I saw, a candle was used for light. you think about it, it's pretty strange. The music venue has good light, so there's no reason to even use candlelight. But wouldn't they have done it to make it feel creepier? That might have been another so reason. So much occult stuff. Huh? The main reason was probably to tamper with evidence. The lighting in the conference room and the music venue are so different. They couldn't be used during filming. That's why the killer used a candle as film lighting instead. Which means... Are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually used? That candle was likely placed there just to make me think it was the same candle that was used in the video. With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Maybe they were going for that effect. With that cheap-ass camera, it won't capture much in a dark area. As long as this all matches up, it should be no problem to say this is the site. The video I saw wasn't filmed at the music venue. It was actually filmed at the hospital conference room. If I'd found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. But it appears the killer already covered that up. So I didn't find anything when I went there. But there's no mistake. That's the only place within the connection range of the surveillance camera. The motel would have been too far. And the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. But this must be a surprising turn of events for Hajime. Why did you bring me up, buddy? I suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. The incident isn't happening at the scene of a crime. It's occurring in the conference room. I feel like I've heard Bayside Pop say that before. But is it the other way around? Um, if Ibuki's hanging video was filmed at the hospital's conference room, then was Ibuki killed at the conference room too? No, that's not possible. Right after Hajime saw that video, he discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue. The video was filmed at the conference room, but Ibuki's body was at the music venue. Which means that there was a fake, there was a fake summer. The fake must have been... Yeah, 
Mookie in the conference room? That means there was someone else climbing the ladder. The person wearing the hint bag in that video wasn't Ibuki. Which goes back to the fact that there might be two bags. It was no, that wasn't brought up before. The killer pretending to be Ibuki. The killer put on a hospital gown, wore a hint bag on their head, and was only pretending to be the victim. By that time, the real Ibuki must have already been killed. The actual time of death must have been earlier. Probably around midnight or dawn to avoid witnesses. If they took Ibuki from the music venue to the hospital to kill her, there's no way it happened during the day. So that's what happened. No matter how quickly I ran, it was possible for me to rescue for Ibuki. Oh, no matter how quickly I ran, it was impossible for me to rescue Ibuki. That moment, I was already in the killer's trap. And the one who set up the trap for me was... But why did the killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? The reason the killer made a fake video... There's only one possibility I can think of. If I examine that possibility thoroughly, then naturally the killer's identity will reveal itself. Huh? You feed! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? That's right, I should already know. Should have already known who the killer is. Can I take a guess? If it was in a hospital? Bitch! You're the only one! Meepon. Cause she was in the conference room area. You're the killer, aren't you? Cause she was in the conference room area sleeping. Or supposed to be sleeping. Like I said, aren't you the killer who murdered Ibuki and Hyoko? The killer? Huh? I'm the killer? What is this? Hey, don't you think that's kind of impossible? A chick like her is the killer? She couldn't even kill a fly. In fact, the fly <laughs> would coming. probably kill her first. I would probably kill her. Right? A clumsy slowpoke like me killing someone? That's completely out of the question. But we're the only ones. Thanks to that video, we're the only ones who have the advantage of an alibi. An alibi? Was that the killer's goal? Now that you mention it, you guys brought that up early. Only Hajime and Mikan have an alibi. It's just a coincidence! But you're the only one who could have filmed that video in the hospital conference room. Is that also a coincidence? Yikes. <laughs> Shouldn't you go get some rest already? You should be exhausted nursing without any sleep, right? Thanks, if you insist, I will use the arm call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. At that time, you said you were going to the on call room, but you actually went to the conference room. That's when you put on a hospital gown that you prepared in advance, put the bag on your head, and began filming. By doing that, you made up a video that showed Ibuki trying to hang herself at the music video. And showed that to me. Now she's going crazy. Furthermore, I saw that video at the hospital lobby. If someone wants to go to the conference room from outside, they have to pass through the lobby. So it's impossible that someone who wasn't already in the hospital went to the conference room to film. Not only that, the others in the hospital Kane and I, we're both delirious from the despair disease. So that must mean... Please wait a second! What are you saying? I'm the killer! It's impossible! There's no way I can kill someone! It's not literally impossible. Can't you give a better defense than that? Once again, that just shows that you can't even do that. Hey, you sure this chick is really the killer? Wrong! It's totally it's not what you think! Just like Akane said, it is really hard to tie it all together. I mean, Mikan is the killer? I agree. It is truly difficult to believe someone could be killed by such a slow-witted woman. That slow-witted remark is not necessary. Damn. <laughs> it's fine. I've been like this for a long time. In a tournament for social punching bags, God. Even I can't deny that. How many times do I have to tell you? It's impossible for me to kill someone. I'm serious. Very serious. What are you 
say, Hajime? Do you still believe this woman is the killer? Yes. Do you hate me that much, Hajime? Hey, Hajime! Uh, um, what? Who wants gang up on me? <laughs> She's putting a Hyoko with her fake crying. Tricks aside, logic aside, is she really capable of doing something like that? Could it be I'm the one making a mistake? No, in fact, it'd be much more easier if it'd be so much easier if I was wrong. If I have this much doubt about someone I've spent so much time with. Can you hold on a minute? Crazy Nagato, coming in. Well, coming. I know I'm being intrusive and all, and I mean, I have no place to say this. I missed all of the critical parts, and I doubt I have anything worth saying at an important time like this. What are you saying? What do you got now? There's definitely no way I can overlook the kill this time. Why? Huh? I thought it was suspicious all along, from the very beginning. Investigating with a suspect in mind creates a different result than investigating with no leads. Hey, what are you trying to say? You had a feeling it was... Thanks to that, you I the whole time? discover a truth that nobody else knows. Are you serious? Or are you just being crazy I've again? I've been so focused on everybody else in this trial. But I guess now's a good time to say it, right? You better not have kept quiet on purpose. This isn't a game you know! Actually, this is a game! And so what's wrong, Bridget? controversial statements? <laughs> well, what do you know now? Well, well, it's nothing big, really. Only a small, decisive clue that points to the killer. Oh, so the evidence they have isn't isn't anything big. Just something that tells us who the killer is. Dang, that's a huge deal. A decisive clue. Does something like that really exist? Let's take a look, shall we? Regarding the rope Ibuki was dangling from, this rope was supplied by the supermarket, right? There weren't any ropes inside the music venue. Again with the supermarket? That place is a hot spot for criminal goods. I think that might be the point. If they got it at the supermarket, that means it was brand new, right? What's wrong with that? I want you to take a close look at this rope. And keep in mind that it's brand new. Near the middle of the rope, it's frayed, as if it was rubbed strongly. But why is it like this? The loopy booty used to hang herself is on one end of the rope, and the part of the rope that hung from the baton lighting is on the other end. Hey, you're taking too long. What's wrong with the rope being frayed? It's now on either end, in the it middle. Means, I don't know where it goes from there. From what I can infer, I think the rope was used like this. The killer wrapped there? the rope around Ibuki's neck, pulled both ends at full strength, and strangled her. The center of the rope is frayed because that's the part they use to strangle Ibuki. Done. I've been listening to you for a while, and it sounds like you knew about this rope clue all along. You know anything that'll lead to killing. What exactly did you say to me during the investigation? So this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search another place. Not everyone cooperates in a class trial. Those who lie and conceal the truth will obviously be here too. That includes you. Just like this case is killer. I was just copying them a little bit. Huh? More importantly, what was all that about the rope? The killer strangled Ibuki. And then, and then, I finished speaking. What? Huh? <laughs> How is that a decisive clue? Huh? You didn't notice it. I thought I made the decisive clue very clear. The robot's frayed? Nagato's words contain the size of clue? Uh, is that really true? I don't understand. Let's rest Teru Teru makes it so I only have to deal with three pieces of evidence. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. That's right. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars?
stars. You mean the rope burn, right? Okay, I, I don't believe it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. The Monokuma file complicates this, too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Whoever misunderstood is to blame! The book is shaken to death with strangulation. The fact is the decisive proof that will lead to the killer. Is that true? Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? I guess I tried the AC. body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. <laughs> Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. Yeah. I guess I'll try the, the thermometer. It complicates this too. It never off. specified hanging or strangulation. Whoever misunderstood is to blame. I'm gonna try a thermometer first. Ibuki didn't die. She was strangled. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem simple, the scars they leave would look different. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? It's not. Who's lying? I'm just talking about things that don't make sense. Crap. Yeah. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very... The scars they leave would look different, too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Okay. The body of the crime scene was hanging by the neck. There's no doubt it was a hanging. I probably wouldn't agree with that. Show me better. Crap. Oh. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Wait, let me try. Let me. I guess let me try one after Nagato. You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. The Monokuma file complicates this too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Whoever misunderstood is to blame. Ibuki didn't die. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same oh. thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would Wait, that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? Really? Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Ah, oh, well, it's gone already. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. Oh. The Monokuma file complicates this too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Whoever misunderstood is to blame! I said strangling the bike said the food that leads to the killer, but what am I looking Ibuki at? Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. 
Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. The Monokuma file complicates this too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Hi. Oh. my as good as dirt to fly ahead within the Monokuma file. Hidden, hurry up and talk for me. Wait, is that a hint? He booped. He actually, it was actually helpful. Yeah, I'm pause. Cross swim pass the result of choking. With no other external injuries. I think Gundam just gave us a hint. She was strangled to die. Basically the same thing. No hanging and strength. The scars they leave. Scars. But we believed it. Why would that? Did we fall for some? The body at the crimes. Obviously, we did. The Monokuma file. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Oh wait, no. That would be. That would be if it was wrong. But it, had, it was related to the rope. Was it specified? Nope. It talks about choking. I'm about to look this up. I don't. I don't have she was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. The Monokuma file complicates this too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Whoever misunderstood us to play. Okay, I'm looking this up. Make sure by the time I look at this, I'll be able to figure out what it is. Damn, it brought me back. It brought me to the first game. Oh, because I don't put banging wrong, but I think I'm off of two. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. No hanging and strangling seems so. Similar. I think it was Kazuichi different. then. The scars they leave look different I too. Scars? You mean the rope burn? I don't right? look at anything else after But we this, believed though. it was from a hanging. Why would that? Be? Did we fall for someone's lie? So it was this one. That must be it. But I knew it was this one too. So well, that's what happened. We've been falling for the killer's lie this whole time. There's something I want to ask you. It's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death of being hanged by this rope, right? Yeah, she has no other external injury, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. Uh, I see, I see. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. You said Ibuki hanged herself, but that was a complete lie, wasn't it, Mikan? Yeah. That is... well... You told us the wrong cause of death. You lied, didn't you? Corner. You should have been able to tell the difference between hanging and strangling just by looking. The marks on her neck? You, Mikuri. The ultimate nurse. Please, wait! The first book. I'm not a coroner, so I don't have the medical knowledge to identify injuries like that. That's why it's not my fault if I made a mistake. You, you were right.
right. And you have been a great help to us so far. But even a drunk medical student can notice the difference between a hanging and strangulation. I'm not taking her side or anything, but being clumsy and unskilled in this area could lead to a mistake. He's totally right! <laughs> I'm such a clumsy mess, and I got so careless! Mikan nursed me till I got better. There's no way I'm gonna doubt her. Don't you think her devotion to nursing is what helped her draw Ibuki to her death? Huh? And if not, her symptoms were still very serious and caused her to believe what anybody told her. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't surprise me if she willingly followed Mikan because she was nursing her. So, so Mikan volunteered to nurse us? Because she was planning to do this all along? That's a little... Aren't you like the thief who suspects everyone else of being thieves? <laughs> I'm not a criminal. Mikan is. I mean, she's a killer, you know. You got it all wrong. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can forgive you. I just can't forgive this crime at all. Oh my god, what is it now? Um, forgiveness or not, we still have not decided if Mikan is the killer. <sighs> hmm, I see. You guys are kind. Well, if that's the choice everyone makes, then the only thing I can do is back off, I guess. Oh boy. But is that really okay? Is that everyone's oh hope? Fucking God. You're freaking annoying! If you keep talking, I'm seriously gonna beat you up! Am I naming Akana Hawaii? <laughs> I'm really, really not the killer. There's no way. <laughs> I'm capable of killing someone! Is that really true? <gasps> stop it already! That's enough! I can't stop! I don't want to do this either! Of course I don't want to do this! But I need to do this! You, you doubt your friends? That's not it! I suspect them because I want to believe them! But what the hell does that mean? Good brain. I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. Huh? I do doubt her. But I still want to believe her. Belief lies at the heart of that conflict. Cause... If there's no room for doubt... Then there's no reason to believe. Is there? D don't say deep stuff. I... Don't really get it. I'm all smooth brain. If you want to believe in someone... <laughs> you need to overcome doubt first. Belief without doubt is simply a lie. Fine. Do whatever you want. I won't stop you anymore. Now they'd be able to. Huh? Is that all you can say? Ah, so in the end, you're all uh, yep, just she's a definitely bunch changed. of bullies, huh? <coughs> Justifying your actions with fancy words. <coughs> Making excuses for why it's not really your fault. Everyone always treats me like that. <laughs> always. <coughs> it's all her fault. She's the one with the problem. <laughs> I'm done with that. You hear me? I'm done. She's done with everyone's bullshit. She hey, definitely hey, done with Yoko's Nico. bullshit it's too. It's not fair. It's not fair. Not fair. Not fair. Not fair. Not Forgive me if you did You forgive yourself right It's like she lets us because, 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 because. What did I do? Or Leon, Why stupid, 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 stupid. Is acting like this your strategy now? It's like she doesn't want to hear what we have to say. Plus, so we got a PTA honest, incoming. Run out of ideas. <laughs> How can we get you to the moment? That's the issue. If we don't have any clues, why don't we have her give us some? Huh? I'm the same as Hajime. I don't want to doubt any of my friends. But still, the truth is one of us murdered two of our friends. That's why we gotta stick with this until the very end. So we can finally break these chains of despair. Jackie! Hey Mikan, can I ask you one last thing? If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watched? Like I said, it obviously wasn't me. 
But if you were in the area, you would have seen it. Can you prove it? Can you prove it? Wait. Do you have any proof of the one who fabricated that video? Ah, that's right! Show me your proof! Act like a little bitch. <laughs> Is this broad really okay? She's emotionally it's unstable. Broad. <laughs> but the fact that he, that she'd rather so if she escapes this island, she's just gonna get bullied again. Does she really want to go back to that level? Could it be? Was this Shiaki's goal all along? She's saying everyone's fate depends on me. The only person who saw that video. Why do you get to decide I'm the killer? Where's your proof? Please, forgive me already! Need to make up my mind. I'm the one who has to do it. I'm the one who's going to finish this. What do we got? Rope used for hanging, Mekon's account, or the AC temperature. Would she be the only one to know about the temperature? We can't think of anybody else other than you. Who could have filmed that video. Huh? Do you have any proof? Is this really Mekon? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. I got a spot. Don't flinch. Don't hesitate. Don't run away. Let me beat on Mikon's account again. What'd she say? Mikon was with Hajime the whole time. After which she went to the hospital, took and everyone realized that Buki had disappeared when she rushed out of the hospital to search for Buki. She met up with Fuyuhiko. The one who saw the video. What's going to do if I don't? We can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that video. Huh? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikon clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! So please forgive me already! What happened to her? Let me go Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. Okay, I got it. I'm not the killer! We can't think of anybody who could have filmed it. Deep is the hemp bag up is the hospital gown she was wearing. Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikan clearly have- Is that really- You could tell her body type under the hospital just from that video? Just from that camera? Just from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to make out her body- So please first- Hajime, you're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. There we go. Don't flinch, don't despair. I'm not the killer! We can't think of anybody who could have filmed it. Huh? 
Steve and I see the hump bag on her head to poop. It's the hospital gown she was wearing. Okay, the camera angle is a mistake. Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikan clear. Is that really? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown just from that video, just from that camera angle, just from that dim candlelight. There's no way you'd be able to get her body type. So please, for Hajime, Pick, you're the only one who can point out the killer's. Oh no, I have to highlight again. Right. You can't think of anybody who could have filmed that. Oh, do you have an answer? Is the hunt bag on her head the poop? Is the hospital gown? Or could it be the hospital? Ibuki and Mika. Is that really? You could tell her body just from, just from that, just from that dip. There's no way you'd be so pleased for- Hajime, hey club, you're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. So it has to be the camera. You can't think of anybody who could have filmed that. Huh? Maybe I should remove uh, Mahi with the ability. It's not really helping me a lot. Because it goes right into center, but that's most times in the middle of white noise. You could tell her body type under the hospital just from that video, just from that camera angle. Just from the candlelight. There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type. No, white noise is getting in my way. Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. I have to do this again. Only because I can't get the white noise. Only because I can't get past the white noise. Is the hemp bag on? Is the hospital gown? So Mahi's ability, I'm not using anymore. The one that allowed me to actually center on a beast point. Is that really? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown. Just from that video. Just from that camera angle. Just from that dim candlelight. Why? Hajime, if you're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. Yeah, I got a mistake. I'm not the killer! You can't think of anybody who could have found it. ability is actually is hurting me here. Is the hospital gown she was wearing? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikan clear. Is that really? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown just from that video. Just from that camera angle. There! I'll shoot through that contradiction. I'm gonna get past that, because all the Mika, white noise. You've committed a major mistake. <laughs> Look like I used the ability that also gave me more time. As I said before many times, I'm the only one who saw that video. There we go. <laughs> What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. <laughs> so how can you say anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself. The only reason me conjure the camera angle Hajime would see is because you're the person who actually filmed that video. Is that right? This is your just reward. The more desperately you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. You lied, didn't you? Oh, are you serious? Is it true, Mikan? Did you... Did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? Ah! <laughs> Forgive me! Huh? 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 Guess it makes sense now that she huh? killed... Huh? That she killed huh? Hiyoko. Huh? Hiyoko huh? always made... Always... Talk crap to Mikan. So I guess it would make sense that Hiyoko would immediately have said something. <laughs> I was wrong. Wrong. No, no. That's not it at all. That's not it? I mean, it's impossible. Impossible? You know that hemp bag Ibuki was wearing when she died? Try remembering the tote bag instead. Ding! I totally remember now. What the heck's wrong with her? She's getting weirder by the minute. That tote bag... Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? How do you know so much about that video? <laughs> Who cares about that? More importantly, did you know that bag is a limited oh, here we go with the that bag. was sold at the movie theater? <laughs> Hajime saw it too, didn't you? You remember the Usami <laughs> decal on it, right? Whoopsie! Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. Ta-da! There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. So don't you think it's impossible? 
using one tote bag in both the conference room and the music venue at the same time? It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible. Don't you think? That's why that video isn't fabricated. And I'm not the killer. So you'll forgive me, right? Nope. Taking your stubbornness this far is such despair. Then you're gonna forgive me? I won't stop until you forgive me! <coughs> Long time no see. Uh, not really. Time for the third panic talk action. This is probably gonna be my last job during the class trial. Please humor me why I want to take why I taint your ears one last time. So after this PTA, the reload and ammo, ammo features will be added. See, because now I'm not on gentle difficulty, I'll actually be able to I'll actually have a challenge during this. <coughs> you know, you're no longer be able to make do with just the B button. I guess the way my thing is formed. The B button is the A button on my controller, because this is a, a different type of Xbox controller. Below the temple mark at the lower portion of the screen, the number of bullets are displayed. At this point on, you need one bullet to destroy one remark. When you're out of bullets, you won't be able to destroy the mark no matter how many times you match the A button. You'll be able to refresh your bullets by pressing the Y button to reload. I'm looking at my remote, because yes, they do have marks that say A, B, X, Y, but the buttons themselves are actually different. I think what it actually I think what this remote's actually trying to do is like emulate an Xbox controller. Like they have the buttons in different order, but telling you what each button actually represents. So yes, yeah, so it says X button, but on my controller it's Y. Just like locking the just locking on, press the Y button in time with the tempo marker. Those are the same as the A button. That's the tempo marker by either pressing the Y button. Number of both the is based on how well you keep up the tempo. You get the timing wrong when you press the Y button. Bullets will not be refreshed, so please be careful. Also, your ammo will be completely refreshed and will not run out during fever time. You can put a level 6 ammo, you're not to reload. It's produced the explanation, even though it was the last one. And that, should not, that should be all the explanation for the class trials. The rest is up to you, but we'll come. Be able to find me on the point, but you and I both yearn for it. Nope! <laughs> well then, good luck and have fun. I'll keep explaining it until you forget me! It is not! <laughs> That's why that crime is impossible for anyone to pull off. This chick, has she lost it for good? Will you forgive me? You'll forgive me, right? Isn't that right? You're obviously gonna forgive me, right? At this rate, we're not getting anywhere. I gotta do something and end this. I gotta do something so I can make her admit it. Here we go, the Mekon ETA. You still haven't forgiven me? I'll do anything you want. Please, draw on me. Do you understand? Why only me? Please, draw on me. Can you forgive me already? Give me already? I'll do anything you want. Can you forgive me already? There's only one bag. It's impossible to use it in two places at the same Peter time. Bonus prize. This is the end. Buy one, get one free, motherfucker. Monokuma mentioned this earlier. Get one tote bag, buy one tote bag, you get another one free. When you buy one back, you get another one free! It's a common practice to beat customers with bonus prizes! Whoever bought that bag should have received another one as a bonus prize. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. So please, just stop making desperate excuses! No reason to forgive you. Desperate struggle is finally coming to an end. Why does everybody always hate me? You should just forgive me already! Nikon, it's already over. While the closing argument's playing, After I'm gonna get a I drink. After I go over your crime from the beginning and show that you have no arguments left. Please, just admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you. 
closing argument. All right. What I saw on the monitor. Oh, so it's only yeah, it's only the three panels set up all five. Five. So do after the broadcast. So it's off the music the wallpaper. Body was sitting before, so they ripped off the wallpaper. Mark with the killer left. Really? He's a figure. Put it back to normal but after destroying it. Oh, oh it's a real lock can create Let's go here. There we go. Last stock already? Wow, this is actually incredibly short. So I might just have to lock. Lock through the killer lock. Let's release the card. Or the wallpaper. After the broadcast, do off the hand tag, bottom is tilt bag. And then versus last, but it's on the monitor, broadcast into the hanging. Here's everything that happened in this case. Enjoy, I'm gonna bury Drake. The key to this incident is the surveillance camera video that only I saw. That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. When I went to the hospital with Nikon this morning, I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. When I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... A person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music video. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music video. So I immediately headed over there. Because the scenes look the same. But that was the killer's trap. Dash. Zip. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The hospital itself. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time, when in fact, the crime had already been committed by that point. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. I didn't know that. So I went to the music room and found the hanged body wearing a bag on it. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. But that was also part of the killer's trap. After cleaning the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music room from outside. And as if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music room and began working on their last trick. First, the killer peeled down, down, off the down. wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, revealing Kyoko's body. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper, or have Hyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music video, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. However, that be they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked oh. from the inside. Shucks would have been littering too. In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. Trace. The killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. Lorch? 
With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko. They helped us force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. They made us discover not just Ibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Almost worked out. Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? That hoes, though. Being creepier and creepier. The innocent sounding girl is the creepy one. <laughs> <laughs> Overcome by despair. Whoa! Now she's laughing? Ah, it's been such a long time. This feeling, I know it well. Like the floor is collapsing. Like the sky is falling down upon you. This feeling of despair! She's Recon, lost me. You... What has happened to you? Whoa there! Before that, a moment of your time! And I think the class trial's over. There we go. Oh jeez, that sucks. Okay, it said I sucked at the PTA. How's I that bad at the PTA? It seems your arguments have yeah, reached the conclusion. So let's proceed to our regularly scheduled yeah, voting was time. To be before that, because the white noise kept getting in my way. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Let's go. Megan Sumiki. <laughs> well now. Now then, though it may be obvious at this point. Correct. You got it right once again. That's like three in a row. Yay. That's right. The true identity of the horrifying blackened who killed two girls was Mikan Sumiki! Damn it. You gotta be shitting me. You're saying Mikan, the one who nursed us back to health, was the one who killed them? I won't forget. Don't joke around with me, Mikan. Did you lie to us all along? You plan to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? <laughs> Don't just laugh! Say something! It's going nowhere! <laughs> What's going on? This chick! Hey, hey! This is nothing like Pekko. She's actually gone mental. That's nothing we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Mikan Sumiki we knew. Hey. Based on my predictions, she might have caught it too. Probably had the spare disease, which is the motive for this case. What? Mikan too, you say? I... I know, because I was looking at Mikan for so long. She was the one taking care of me, after all. My conscience kept drifting, but even so, when I did catch a glimpse of her, her expression was... <sighs> full of despair. A despair so devoid of hope that no, not, not even a single fragment of it remained. <clears throat> Hold on, did you say Mikan also had despair disease? Th that means she was... What? Huh, Andre, something crossed your mind? <sighs> yeah, two times she was on top of me. Body's heavy. No, that's heavy. It's somewhat soft and really hot. I've, I've seen this somewhere before. That's right. Mika felt really hot at that time. And I think about it, that must have been high fever, just like what Ibuki and Akane had. It cannot be. Then, because that disease, Mikan was perhaps the symptoms that she surely felt must have been deserving of the name despair disease. Using all hope and harboring despair for all hope. Isn't that despair to these? She was likely overcome with despair. See? That's the reason why she could still laugh at such a hopeless situation. <laughs> Jeez. She 
means the Mekon standing before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. It's a completely different person now that she's infected by the despair disease. Isn't that right? Because a human deserves to be called the ultimate despair, huh? Mukuroiko Saba and Junko and Noshima? This Junko now? Ultimate despair? <laughs> That's the reason why I cannot forgive this. I'm killing someone for the sake of despair instead of for the sake of hope. What? Killing someone awesome. is absolutely wrong! No way I can forgive that! Oh? For the sake of despair? <sighs> That's completely wrong! Huh? Oh my god, the voice I gave her just now. Wrong. Wait, wrong. What, what's wrong? What I did was for the sake of my beloved. Huh? Huh? Who are you talking about? <laughs> if only they were still alive, they'd be so happy. I know. Oh God. My More of this shit. Was the only one. That's right. The only one who never hated me. They forgave my existence. They forgave me and accepted me. They gave me value. They loved me. I loved them with all my heart, and they returned it in full. This is my reciprocation. More <laughs> creepy Mekon. I understand that I've done something unforgivable, but you know, but you know, to transcend all that is truly it's love. what love is all about. Hey, I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> you don't understand? Is it because you don't have anyone to love? Oh. Is it because you're also someone who isn't accepted by anyone? <sighs> what a pity. I feel sorry for you. Uh -huh. Well? What if I say this? I'm sure nobody here would understand, but... Love is a wonderful thing. <sighs> ah, this feeling of freedom when you no longer care about anything. <laughs> My beloved and I are the only ones within that thin veil. And I'm just looking out through it. <laughs> That's why... As long as I'm on the as long as I'm on the inside, no matter how much they tease me, splash me with water, kick me. Ah, like nothing amazing. matters. I could just die. That's how little it matters. Who cares about hope and despair. It's love. Only love. Could it be? Nada, is this really the despair disease you were talking about? This is. Seems that I was wrong. Not only was she affected by despair. Ah. You're half right. It's right to say that this is all thanks to that disease. Because thanks to that disease, I was able to remember my beloved. Remember? <laughs> Apparently, that's what my symptom was. What a wonderful symptom. So her symptom was being able to remember things. Is Nikon one to forget? You think her? You think since it's opposite, her disease would have made it so that she's braver? Nope. Her disease made it so that she actually remembered things. Nagato is just Nagato. And Akane became a coward. And Ibuki began falling for things. Being tricked. Which means you had the remembering disease? What? This means you remember something and ended up like this. Such Are you saying you were like this from the start? Were you like this before you even came to this island? <laughs> Don't get so angry. Well, first of all, the reason I became like this wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know. Because it's not like I'm entirely responsible for turning out like this. I'm the person I am today because of many human relationships. So, it's everybody's fault that I turned out like this, you see? <laughs> Even so, the current me was most strongly influenced by my beloved's existence. It's also my beloved who created the me that everyone can't forgive. My beloved still forgives me and still accepts me. This is the key difference between all of you and my beloved. Don't fuck with me! Like I said, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Nope, every time you ask her that, she begins laughing. <laughs> like a lunatic. Are you saying this is Mekon? She's the real Mekon. Mekon, please answer me. Did you really remember? Put up like this all because you remembered? There's no way I can believe that. There's no way. The person you are right now is the real Mekon. <laughs> oh, you still doubt me? And to prove I remember, I'll tell you all something nice. Huh. It's about the world and the organization that you all were worrying about. You serious? You know? <laughs> Not no, I just remembered, that's all. 
knew about it all along. How the Horror Bunch organization known as the World as World Ender. It's also the organization also known as the Future Foundation. Future Foundation? Future... That's right, the symbol on the ancient room's door. That's right. The Japanese word for future. Okay, so what is the Future Foundation? What are they planning? Future Foundation. Isn't that the foundation Byakuya is in? <sighs> As they suggest, the organization is the world ender. Future Foundation is trying to end our world. <clears throat> but simply, they're trying to claim the world for themselves. This is bad. What the heck? This isn't a comic book, you know. <laughs> Part of the plan to end the world, the Future Foundation, brought us to this island. <clears throat> is it not right, Monami? <laughs> I knew it! Monami, Monokuma, they're both members of that crazy organization, aren't they? <laughs> Monami and I, and I aren't members. I am Monokuma! My existence is entirely my own! <laughs> oh my god. Hey, <laughs> stop laughing. Hey, Mikan, if you really do remember, you already know, right? You know the true identity of the traitor hiding among us? <laughs> of course I know that. But see, the future foundation knocker that's hiding among all you is... Uh -huh. Oh, well. No one really cares about that, don't you think? Of course not! Ah, hell no! <laughs> You'll find out eventually. There's no need to be so impatient. Probably. When the countdown ends. Countdown? You, you even know about that? Uh -huh. I don't know anything. Huh? I don't feel that's what it is, but who cares about that, you know? <laughs> I'm drowning so much love from the bottom of my heart. I just don't care about anyone or anything. Not is. Mika, is that really you? I won't believe it. No way I can believe you were like this all along. Because if that's true, it's the person you've been spending time with up until now. Hmm. You've been spending time. The past. The past? The person. She didn't exist in the beginning. She's just my past self who lost her school memories. <laughs> you guys consider that thing a friend. Oh? Uh, that doesn't make me happy at all. It just fills me with despair. I guess except my past self, but not my present self. That's... Well, well, that applies to you all as well. Memories of people, memories of events, whatever memory it is, losing memories are... Do you understand? Like losing your personal identity. Memory is the most important component in building a person, don't you think? Losing our memories makes us shadows of the past. Don't you think? Hey. I, know what you're try I don't know what you're trying to say, but... The end it always leads back to, this, to that story. That story about our stolen school lives. Hey, hey! So what's your along? The memories were taken away. Damn it! If it wasn't true, we wouldn't be suffering this much. <sighs> well, why don't you just take your sweet time and remember at your own pace? Oh? Huh? Oh, Manakuma! Is it alright for you to start now? Yes, indeed! Punishment time? Damn it! Why? Mikan, why does it have to end like this? This is too pointless. This is too much. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. And for the ultimate nurse, Mikan Sumiki. Sumiki, Mickey. So it's over. It's really. Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. I can finally see them. Please forgive me, the one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. <clears throat> Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! We got it from found guilty. Time for the punishment. Third execution. It's in the nursing room. Giant syringe. Bye bye, ouchies. Orphan knows Mikan Tsumiki's execution executed. Good ground. What she fears the most an oversized hand. Arm. Oh my god. Is this be fan service? Quite, that began quite vulgar. 
to go into space. And that's it. That was fucking trash. What happened to Mekon? That was absolutely trash. It's finished. Is it really finished? Yeah, thank god. Kuriko Ibuki Miyoda and Hyoko Sayanji was Mikan Sumiki. She's been executed. She probably committed a crime because she was afflicted by the despair disease. So what? What's finished? Nobody wanted it to end this way. Let me ask. Who was that Mikan from earlier? Was that her true form? Or is that itself a symptom of the despair disease? Damn it. Doesn't matter either way. She ended up like that just from remembering. And all along, Mikan was never worth being a symbol of hope. But... And if her words were influenced by the despair disease, if the disease turned her into that, she locked herself to a simple disease, she was definitely unworthy of being a symbol of hope. Isn't that right? So let's just move on. <laughs> Come on, let's take all the despair and change it into hope. Wait. That's impossible. Uh... I mean, I thought we were friends all the time, but even so... Like a house of cards collapsing in, it, collapsing in an instant. The end, our friend was thought... Or a friend we thought we knew ended up showing us a completely different side of herself. Then she finished my sight, leaving behind only her malice toward us. And now there's no way we could just move on or try to have a clear cut attitude about these feelings. Clearly impossible. Damn it! It would have been so much easier if she was a traitor, too. Wrong! Too bad! That's not the case! Mikan was not the traitor! Come on! The traitor is still alive! I proof, see how fine Monami looks right now. <laughs> I'm not fine at all. Hmm? But if the traitor died, you wouldn't be this calm, right? I mean, you're both part of the Future Foundation. So you guys are like hearts beating as one, right? You fiend. What does that make you, fiend? You did say that you're different than Monami. Phew. Who cares about who I am? More importantly, I'm tired. The drama just kept going, ah. Going and going. I didn't even have the time. I didn't have time to eat my black bean right eye during the break. What? Black bean right eye? Hey. Your right eye made out of black beans? Hey, hey. Wait, now's not time to focus on that. What are you trying to say? Hey, um. You know, isn't it sad that the life has its ups and downs? It's fun because downs come after ups, but if life was full of downs, wouldn't it get boring? <laughs> so in order to help you guys feel better, I prepared a special event! Special event? <laughs> Head over to the first hour meet. An old friend will be waiting there! Old friend? Huh? Be Nekomaru? Hey! Is it? It is, isn't it? Nekomaru was safe after all! Hmm. hmm. Safe? How should I say this? Hmm. <laughs> I knew it! Knew that crazy bastard Nekomaru would come back to us in one piece? <laughs> awesome, we're starting to see the light of hope. Um, the light of hope. I am happy Nekomaru's return to us, but but I. So just as I thought. Two of my friends just died, so I honestly could not be happy. Hmm. It's Sonya. However. Uh, Even so, I am still happy. If Nekomaru is safe, I am truly happy. Sorry. If you are happy, you should honestly greet him with open arms. Perhaps those who have been taken from us would do the same if they still lived. <laughs> hey, Supreme Overlord of Who Gives a Shit? That line doesn't suit you at all. <laughs> I shall crush you into dust. Um. Supreme Overlord of Who Gives a Shit. Ibuki, Kyoko, Mikan, can you hear us? If you're unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for right now. I want to mournfully welcome Nakamura when he returns to us. Not to worry, Sonya. I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. Right? Probably not Mikan, but the others probably. Maybe not even Hyoko. So I'll go greet Nekomaru. Let's make it grand, even for those who have died. <laughs> oh, again. What the heck? Did I stop the act that makes the disease? I don't get this at all. Mikane. All right. Alrighty then. Let's go. Yeah, you're right. Nekomaru's coming back. When we heard that, we were unable to contain our excitement. I was jumping into the elevator. Uh -oh. Man, they just ran off without listening to what I had to say. Unbelievable. Jeez, they're so impatient. Then they let me stick around until others have finished talking. Um. What does that mean? Hey. You're implying something again, aren't you? No way. I'm not planning anything. I'm just trying to properly explain everything to them, including 
Nekamara's body. What? <laughs> Nekamara's body? <laughs> it's their fault for not sticking around so I finished talking. <laughs> so if something happened because of that, I bear no resp I bear no responsibility. <laughs> what did you do, Nekamaru? What's this? What I do? I just saved them. That's all. I mean, if I didn't do that, there's no way I could have saved someone who was at the close to who was that close to death. <laughs> so it just couldn't be helped. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. As soon as we exit the elevator, we start running. Hurry to the beach on the first island. Alright! Ready, let's haul ass! Even though our minds were completely exhausted, strangely enough, our bodies felt light. That's time for anything, we kept on running to the beach on the first island. What happened with Nekamaru? Wait, where in the world is Nekamaru? Hey! Hey, Nekamaru, show yourself! Listen. Come to pick you up, please hurry up and come out of hiding! We raised our voices. We looked around the area. Raised our voices again. Looked around the area again. And so on and so forth. We kept looking for him. But, hey, hey. What the hell, man? There's no way to be found. Damn it. Could it be? Did we get false info from Monokuma again? And that's when it happened. We heard a familiar voice echo throughout the beach. <laughs> what happened? Were y'all looking for me? Could it Kumaru. be? That voice. With high up in our hearts, we turned toward the direction of the voice. Then we saw something truly unbelievable. Huh? What the? Yo! I've kept you waiting. Hey, what's going on? Perhaps you don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while. That's pretty sad, you know? That's too much! <laughs> I don't think that has anything to do with that. Um, who are you? Huh? You too? What's going on? If you're messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. The it he's um, referring to Nikomaru? is actually some intense massage where the person receiving the massage just gets naked. And then Nekomaru does some intense massage that apparently fills them with energy. Guess that makes him the ultimate coach after all. Haven't you noticed it yourself? What do you mean, noticed? Oh, you mean this body? <laughs> this is nothing! Robo Maru. The name's Nekomaru Nidai! I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! Robo Maru. <laughs> Kamara has been transformed to a robot. What we got next? Nine days left. 14 hours, 34 minutes, 15 seconds. And that's it. Trapped by the ocean scent. Only nine remain. Hyoko, Ibuki, and Mikan are now dead. And Ibuki and Mikan's excuses was trash. Is it medicine or social skill? The nurse's apron. I guess that's it. Alright. Let's now with that out of the way. This icon even changed to a robot. And what do you know? We took out the complete bottom row. So let's take a look again at the order of how everyone died. Byakuya. Teru Teru. Next was Mahiru. Then Peko. Then we had Hiyoko. Ibuki. Followed by Mikon's crappy execution. And that's about it, really. That little snake. Anyways, that's it. And I'll see you then. Chapter 4 awaits us.